How about modes? All right, so check this out. Let's let's agree that we all heard this thing, modes. Why modes? All right, so the way I see music is this beautiful, beautiful ball of light, and we need to see it from different points, like literally points of view, one point after the other. Makes sense. And then each one of these points highlights a certain thing in this beautiful magical thing we call music. So sometimes it will be rhythm, sometimes it will be chords, sometimes it will be harmony, sometimes it will be singing, sometimes it will be modes. So we need to understand it because you like music, you like guitar, so this will really help a lot of things. So in the next few minutes I will explain exactly how you can use modes. If you listen carefully you will be able to get out of this video how to use modes in a few minutes. So. Let's dive in. Oh, before we dive in, <laughs> please click the like button and hit um, the bell notifications. Thank you. Modes are sound. So we're gonna look at this sound that we call the major scale, but we're gonna call it Ionian. Those names, Ionian, Phrygian, Ionian, all these uh, names are basically um, names of areas uh, from Greek descent. And each one of the areas supposedly had these specific melodies and sounds. So the first sound we want to understand, and once we get this one, the others are easy. The first sound is this major scale sound that we know. And again, the formula to understand this color is whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. Okay, but what does it mean, right? So why are we calling it modes and not just C major scale? All right, so for this, we need to check, check this out. If I'm playing the white keys, right, this... C major scale, the C major, right? But I'm starting it from different points, I can change the point of gravity. Let me explain. When I'm playing C, I'm treating this note as my point of gravity. We can call it tonic, we can call it point of gravity, we can call it the one, whatever you want, the resolution point. Now, the thing is, when you play different modes, you question, have you ever had a eureka moment? guitar, music, anything, please share and drop a comment. Uh, this is a community and the more we share with each other, the more we know and that is just freaking great. Drop a comment. Now the thing is when you play different modes, you can decide that the center is different even within these notes. So what I'm gonna do is show you the few options within the white keys, the C major scale, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna move it into one center and do everything on the key, on the note C, but we will change the colors. So check this out. This is Yoni. That means that this is the sound color of the sound. Now, if I'm starting the scale instead of C, I'm starting this scale from the note D, I'm getting what we call Dorian. This is great news. We're going on tour, we're gonna to play in San Francisco for four nights. These are the dates. This is the ticket link. Please say hi. This is the sound of Dorian, assuming I'm playing, for example, a D minor, and my whole song is just a big D minor. Then, getting this beautiful sound of Dorian and I do use the notes, the white keys, the notes in the C major scale but the center shifted. Instead of the center being C, the center is D. Let me again explain it in a clear way. So let's, let's check out all the options. So we have Ionian, I'll do it from C, so just playing the scale. Know that that's the major sound right we have this sound this is the Dorian and right now I'm using all white keys later on I'll do it with different keys this is the sound of we'll just do E this is the sound of Phrygian very special we have one flat two Ooh. flat three four five flat six flat seven one I'll do it an octave higher Right, very, very beautiful. Uh, now F. This is the, um, the mix of Lydian. Ah, sorry, this is the Lydian. My bad. So 
if we think about the colors, we have uh, from from basically F, we have one, two, three, sharp four, five, six, seven, and one. So the the beautiful thing or the difference between a major scale and a um, Phrygian, uh, sorry, between a major scale and a Lydian is the sharp four. The next one is the mixolydian, so from G, I'll do it from G again. One, two, three, four, five, six, flat seven, one. So again, it's very close to a major scale, only one difference, flat seven. Again, hear it on the G. And then the A minor, which is also called the natural minor sound, which would be Aeolian. One, two, flat three, four, five, flat six, flat seven, one. So again, check this out, and you probably know this scale a little more than the others. And the special thing for me about the scale is that the flat six. Then the last one is um, from B. This is the Locurian, a very harsh sound. We have the one, flat nine, flat three, the four, flat five, flat six, and flat seven. Very harsh. Again, listen to this. Very beautiful. And I'm just literally playing the C major scale, the same white keys, if you will, and starting and ending from each one of the points. One of the question is, when do we use mode? So a lot of people say like, ah, when we have a D minor chord to a G major chord to a C major chord, a 2-5-1, or maybe D minor 7 9 G7-13, C major 7. So maybe when we have that, we can use Dorian to mixolydian, because G7, this is the mixolydian, to C major 7, the Ionian, so Dorian to Mixolydian to Ionian. Now this is correct in the sense of you are playing the chord scale, but also very easy to understand the relationship and how they function. So playing Dorian, D minor, is very true because you hear this D and you have... But also it makes a lot of sense because if you know the fingerings of C major scale, you just need to make the switch in your mind. I'm not saying don't know the fingers for Dorian, but also if you already know the fingers for C major scale, you can actually utilize that, but think, oh, this is the center. I can hear things going there, but I also know my fingering, so I don't really need to learn a whole new set of fingering. The same way with G7. G7 is mixolydian, that's very true, and we want to hear it in that way. So, but I'm also aware that the fingering that I'm playing here is the same thing. It's like looking at the white keys and saying like it's whole new fingering. No, I mean, you can play different fingers, but the point is that it's the same notes. It's the same seven notes. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and again C. And I can look at it from the point of view of D or G or any other chord. So this is the concept that we're utilizing when we're talking about modes. We can hear things around it, right? So I have this chord and I can use the Dorian, but the power of the mode is also saying like, hey, but I can also use different colors and different modes and different, maybe later on, makam or different colors that highlights different notes. And that is the strongest thing with music because it just opens up this this possibility of everything is a go. You have a C and you can play any note against that C. Yes, there's a lot of friction, but it's not wrong. That's what I'm hearing. Right, I can if I can process this tension, I can live with it in peace, I can play it. So again, this is a little deeper study and we can talk about it a little later on. What is important for us right now is to understand the idea of mode, that is color, and the process of tagging, the same way that this shirt is, I guess, not white, it's like 
Is it brown? Is it off white? Maybe off white, okay. Let's take something easier. The, this piano is brown, the keys are white, and the keys are also black, I guess. White keys, black keys. So it's very clear colors, I hope. And then, oh, okay, this, this is red, right? We, we can agree on that, I hope. The thing is, music is all about tagging. So if we can do that process of tagging, we can hear things with more clarity. That is huge. The trick with these things is not to write, just play it and, and kind of shift in, in C. The point is hearing it in one center. So basically like saying like, I have the C vamp, okay? My song is only C. This is all I have. Now what happens if I wanna hear all these options on one center, which basically highlights these colors. So let's let's do it together. So this would be Ionian, C Ionian, right? I'll just play the scale every time. This would be C Dorian. How do I know what it is? Again, I can go to C and understand, but I can also learn the formula, right? So saying one, two, flat three, four, five, natural six, seven, one. And it's not to say that you can't play other things on this C, right? There are a lot of options and everything is a go, but it's interesting to look at it from that prisma of, of colors. And this is a Dorian. Now I can do the Phrygian again. Starting with C and adding with C. What is also helpful is that I can also see the fingerings, right? So if I'm playing C, the Ionian, I see the C major scale. If I'm playing the Dorian, I'm also aware that the Dorian, C Dorian, is basically the second degree in B flat major. So again, I'm not thinking about B flat major and I am thinking about these colors, but I'm also aware, it's like, again, saying like, is this a guitar or a piece of wood? Well, it's both. I can also say this, I'm hearing the sound of this Dorian and I'm also aware that this is a part of B-flat major fingerings for me, right? Next one is the Phrygian that I play, then again, I can be aware that it's also a part of the A-flat fingerings that I know and I'm hearing and trying to force myself again to being like a 1, flat 2, flat 3, 4, 5, flat 6, flat 7, 1. The next one will be the Mixolydian. So again, I'm, I can be aware that I'm playing basically the notes within G major. But I'm really thinking about this relationship. One, two, three, sharp four, five, six, seven, one. And again, I'm kind of going fast just so you get the colors, but I would dive into each one of them for a while to really absorb the information. So if I'm just kind of saying like, oh, let me explore C Lydian, great. Mm. Flirting with this flat side. The next one is a mixolydian, so C mixolydian. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, flat seven, one. And I'm also aware, I can be aware of two things at the same time. This is also a part of F major scale, so I can be aware of that, but still feel, oh, this is a B flat. Next one, uh, we have the Aeolian. So this is the sixth degree, if you will, of the those modes, right? If you think about it that way. And then I can play one, that's a natural minor basically, right? One, two, three, four, five, flat six, flat seven, one. And what is the scale? Basically, if I'm thinking about it that way, I'm actually playing the notes in E flat major, but I'm not thinking about E flat again, you got it. And then the last one is the Locrian, the harshest one for me. 
which is basically the same notes as D flat major. But this is our C Locrian. Cool. So you see how I'm going about it. And the thing is, if you know your major scale really well, if you know C major and trying to play it on one string, trying to play the, the shapes all around, you can actually play all the modes once you shift your gear and think about the center in a different way. So the point of, of this exploration is knowing the color of each one of them. So that means taking our time. That means, okay, maybe I need to really, really learn my major color, my Ionian. Maybe I really need to dive into the Dorian, to the Mixolydian. Of course, there are scales that are being used more. For example, the Ionian, the Dorian, and the Mixolydian. These three are huge, hugely used all the time. It's not to say that the others are not as good. It's just colors that are being a little bit more in use in, in Western, um, uh, I guess, music um, but if you like something you can come up with whatever you want and of course please it would be great if you practice the other one as well um, and of course the aeolian as well the, the these four i guess are kind of like the, the the essential ones and the other ones are great but maybe additional all right so i want to show you one more thing so what happens when we have a d minor fam song i'll loop this This is the whole song, okay? Maybe it has some sections, but just D minor. And we want to solo. So what do we do? What what do we solo on? So, well, actually you have quite a few options. So Dorian is a great option because you get the six and it's really cool. Check this sound. Here we go. This is the sound of Dorian. You want to try the natural minor with the flat six, which will give you this. Hmm, maybe it's too harsh for you, so you go back and forth. And maybe, just maybe, you want to be more explorative. And is that a word even? And you want to try and use the Phrygian. It's gonna be a little harsher, but you know, it's definitely possible. Yeah, maybe in this context, the Phrygian doesn't fit as much, but it's still cool if you want to kind of hit that. Right, it's, it's a cool sound. What I'm trying to say is, you can explore this and you can try and say like, oh, I don't like this, oh, I do like this, but you wanna explore the sound. And again, what is Phrygian? What is D minor Phrygian? Well, good you asked. It's basically this, right? So. Right, the, the D minor Phrygian is basically the same notes, if you will. B flat, but I'm not thinking about B flat, I'm really thinking about this color. Just know the fingerings, but I'm thinking about this D Phrygian. Let's listen to it one more time, although it's really harsh. One of the tricks one word that you can do is understand what is the friction points in this scale. So the flat nine is of course going to be very harsh against the D and kind of like, you know, say hi to it once in a while, but not just like, like kind of like stand on it uh, and, and create a lot of tension unless that's what you want. It's, it's sort of like going into a room and be like, hey, or shouting and or throwing some, you know, falafel at somebody um, or being like, Hey, what's up guys? You know, just like chill and, and, and explaining what it is that you want to say and convey. So um, there are a lot of things you can do. Uh, I just kind of want to open these options for you. And I think modes should not be something scary because they're not, they're not scary. And, and I think it's important to talk about it because um, I felt very overwhelmed by this idea of modes. And it's really great. Once you understand, you're like, ah, that's just cool. That's, that's awesome. It's just colors, it sounds, and I can take my time 
learning mode by mode, color by color, tagging it until I actually own it, and there's no rush. We can just hang out with Yonian for you know a few weeks, a few months, no problem, a year. And then you say, oh, let me check Dorian, it's kind of cool. And then you can write a song that has one chord, or maybe a few chords, that's totally fine. But you want to kind of like establish the idea of like utilizing the color of Dorian. Thank you so much for listening. I hope this was interesting and helpful. And um, I'll see you guys very soon. Peace out.